and welcome back to the channel. On this video, I want to talk about e-bike safety and your checklist before you go riding. Especially if you're riding long distance, you want to make sure your bike is in good running order. So some of the things you should be looking for safety wise with your bike Um, hang on for one second let me get past the stop sign I got a car behind me and we will continue so first thing you should check is your tires you want to make sure that your tires have a good amount of air in them So they should be have enough air that if you push down on them with your thumb that they are firm when you uh, press on that you don't want them to be too soft the other thing you want to check with your tires is the side of the tires to make sure that there's no damage on the side wall of your tires. Next, you should check your brakes. Of course, I'm riding the Lyric Graffiti uh, right now and it's got pre-gen braking and I tend to use that basically all the time. Very rarely do I uh, hit the lever, brake lever, but most bikes don't have regen braking so you're going to use the brake levers so when you press on your brake lever for stopping before you go for the ride you should check the brakes and make sure that they have at least about an inch when you press the lever there should be at least an inch between space between there and your hand grip if you've got less than that then you'll you'll want to adjust So you want to firmly pull the brake lever and make sure that you have at least an inch there of space between the lever and your grip. Uh, next, you want to make sure your battery is secure in place where the battery goes now a lot most often are down here on the uh, down below on the uh, column some of them are right integrated right into the frame so that's good there and just make sure that your battery is secure in there and locked so you're not going to have any issues that way Next, you want to make sure that your train, your crank, chain, and cassette move fluidly. You don't want to have any issues there when pedaling. So you want to do a little test before you go. Make sure there's no uh, issues there. Next thing you want to do, especially once again going on longer rides, you want to make sure that you have lots of battery power you don't want to get out on a ride and then all of a sudden run out of battery and have to pedal or walk home or whatever uh, some of these bikes can be pretty heavy to pedal if you don't have any assistance with the motor so make sure your battery is well charged especially like i say going on longer rides
And also you want to make sure if you've got any components on your bike that are quick release. For example, this bike doesn't have it, but some bikes have the quick release for the seat adjustment. And you want to make sure that that is secure, locked, so that you're not going to be spinning around or, or you know, moving in any way. You want the, the seat to be nice and still and stable. Another thing is you want to make sure that there's nothing dragging off of your bike that's loose, you know, something loose hanging there or dragging. You don't want anything to get caught in your wheel or your train. Uh, once again, on this bike I'm riding their graffiti. It has a belt drive. And a couple of other things that are last but not least you want to make sure. You want to make sure you're wearing a helmet. And I will look in the mirror here and show you that I am wearing my helmet right there. Here we go. And I've got my X Needle helmet. And the other thing you want to do if you're going, and once again, this is especially true for longer rides, uh, you want to make sure you bring along a tool kit, patch kit if you get a flat tire. And also a some kind of a portable pump and um, so those three I don't know if this guy's telling me to go I wanted him to go but it doesn't matter whatever I was waiting at the now that the crosswalk I was waiting to actually go onto the road here but anyway those are some of the things you want to make sure and if you're one more thing also if you're doing night riding, you want to wear some kind of clothing that are reflective uh, or make sure your bike has some kind of reflectors and the lights and the whole bit. The more the better. The more you, you can be seen, the better. Uh, the helmet I'm wearing right now, I don't have it on at the moment, the, but it does have a front headlight and a rear uh, taillight. So uh, as I admire that Camaro going by. So those are just some of the things you want to watch out for when riding. Safety wise you want to make sure you're as safe as you possibly can be. And Hopefully that'll help you with a little checklist of what to do maybe uh, before heading out for a bike ride. Oh, I just ran over a bunch of sticks and stuff. I hope nothing poked my wheel. If you've got any additional tips that would be good to add to this list before you ride, by all means, leave a comment in the comments below and we can uh, share our tips that we have with others and because we all want to be safe as can be. Bikes are meant to be for fun and we want everybody to have fun and not be unsafe. Keep looking at my battery. 
I need to charge my battery up. I have two batteries, but the first one is already down to 20% and my second battery is at 60. So I'm going to take my own advice here and charge up my batteries when I get home. And don't forget also in the winter time, if you're riding in the winter and we're closing in on winter right now, your battery is going to drain quicker in the cooler weather, so keep that in mind too. So you're not going to get as many miles out of your battery as you would in the warmer uh, weather. And that's going to do it for another video here on the channel. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and thank you very much for doing that. And if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And if you want to leave a comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Once again, thank you for joining me for this video. And until next time.